Welcome back everyone. In the last tutorial we talked about how you don't really need to be a great mathematician in order to be a programmer. So let's talk about how computers do math and it'll be very easy to understand. Basically computers do math the same way you do math inside a classroom. For the most part it can be really easy math such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Now I'm going to teach you a new concept called algebra. In fact we are already doing that right now and you just don't know it. You've probably heard of algebra before, and you've probably heard that it was really hard. Well, it's actually easier than you think. We know that variables are like containers for numbers and letters. Right now, you can't see what the variables on the screen are equal to. But they do have answers, you just have to figure them out. Why don't you take a second to figure these out so you can pause the video right now. Here are the answers. I know what you're thinking, why are the numbers on the wrong side? Well, numbers can actually be on both sides of the equation. You tend to not learn it this way in school, but later on in math you do learn it this way. So here comes the really cool part. You can actually substitute the numbers for variables. I know that sounds really weird, but you can do that. Watch. I know this looks really weird, but this is algebra. I bet you can figure out each of the values of the variables. I'll give you a hint. Variable 1 is equal to 1. I'll give you the answers right now. If you didn't get the answers, don't worry. This is some pretty cool and complex math. So if you didn't get these, don't worry. If you want to learn more about algebra, you can just simply Google algebra tutorials. So remember, we can set the variables to whatever we want. The main concept we need to learn here is that numbers can also exist as variables. That concludes the tutorial. I'll see you guys next time.